Let's see if we can not play against Prowess a lot of times. Starting on the play is always great. But this hand's not as great. But let's keep it. Let's be risky. Let's be super risky here. This is why I'm, I'm keeping this hand. I have Rift Bolt if I don't draw land, so I can still turn 3 Incinerator, which might be good enough to win some games. Hopefully, this might be Jund with a Blood Creep tapped. Hopefully, we draw land here. If we don't draw land, we're still fine because we can suspend Rift Bolt and turn 3 the Incinerator. If this is Jund, Will be pretty sad if my opponent has Liliana. It's definitely Jund. Kroxa. Okay, so I think we discard Rift Bolt here. Hopefully, opponent doesn't play Liliana. Either that, or we draw land. No land. That sucks. We just have to play into Liliana, I think. Because if he doesn't have it, we just win. Most likely. But yeah, this is the risk of keeping one landers. Um, like, if you don't find the land, you're just playing into not uh, being able to play your hand fast enough, and my opponent plays Seasoned Pyromancer, so he might be on Rakdos. This card's double Bob, and it's not a card you want on board against Burn. So we're fine here. Um, and I think we attack. If my opponent, uh, he just drew two cards and he's gonna draw a third, so he might draw into Liliana. So I think I'll have to do the reasonable thing and not Lava Spike here. Because if my opponent does draw Liliana, I want to be able to bolt him and kill her. Because with one land, I can't really afford to... I can't really afford to have to be up against a uh, Liliana. So he unearths season pyromancer. That's okay, I think. So we can play Liliana. Another season pyromancer. This card's pretty great. Um, so he had Lightning Skelemental. So my opponent probably doesn't attack here. Let's 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 no now now I have to clear up the board a little bit. Hopefully we draw land here. No land still. It's pretty rough. Now we have to do this and kill the seasoned pyromancer and just swing. Because even if my opponent blocks everything, he still goes down to three. And we do clear the whole board. So this incinerator just took over this game, even on one land. 
which is quite amazing. Risky keep. We might still lose. Like, if my opponent goes Dread War into land, into Liliana, and discards us, we have to play Swift Spear, we don't kill him. Or if my opponent goes 4 mana? What's that? Escaping Kroxa? Yeah, that doesn't do it. Just discard this. So this is Rakdos midrange. Meaning... I think that I have plenty of answers for Incinerator. Like, they probably play Dreadbore or Terminate. So we draw the land here, which is great. So we can just finish this off. Quite a risky keep. It ended up paying off. That that was quite risky. So my opponent... Uh, I have to check on what list my opponent's playing. Because I don't know it by heart, but I do know that it's somewhat popular. Let me quickly check what that list plays. There's bound to be some... I'm bound to find it on Goldfish, right? Rakdos midrange, here it is. And the list plays... it plays Liliana. It plays a single Dreadbore in the main. But they play in the side, that can be annoying. They play Kalidas. In Collective Brutality. Okay, so I think that Incinerator has to go here. Um, they do play Liliana. And because our game 1 was such a good Incinerator game, I think we can afford not to play it. So I think I have to play like this. My opponent does play Skelemental. So maybe maybe I want Seal of Fire. I think I want Seal of Fire. What do we think about cutting skewers? I don't hate it. I'm, if I'm gonna go Hellbent, I think I want a single Surgical. If I want to hit Cling to Dust or Kroxa, I'm pretty happy. I think this is an okay board. Especially on the draw. I think that on the draw, I want to play a little bit more defensively. How do we like this hand? Um, I don't love that we don't have a turn one play. I don't think it's even near decent. Enough. I like this hand much more. And I have to put down Rift Bolt. Just because every other card represents pseudo card advantage. Hopefully my opponent doesn't open up with uh, Inquisition. Alright, so that tells me that they have Lightning Bolt for my Goblin Guide, which is not great. So I'm actually gonna sandbag that one. Like this is clearly a Lightning Bolt. Maybe I should have... Yeah, I should have played Goblin Guide still, so I could safely play Eidolon. And now we just hold on to our hand, because my opponent might have... He definitely has Bolt, but I'm afraid of Collective Brutality. Oh, if my opponent's Kelementals, I'm screwed here. Liliana? 
it's not too great. Discards a card. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to discard Skullcrack here. It's our weakest card. I think we like. Hitting face there. Hopefully we draw land. No land. I'm going to play out the Eidolon. What does my opponent do if I play out the Eidolon? He kills it, so he goes on to 10. Lillian discards me. I discard Goblin Guide. And hopefully I draw a land and I can 3-shot him. I think, I think that's the right move. That I force interaction with this Eidolon. Hopefully my opponent doesn't have Collective Brutality. We never really opened ourselves to it, so he might have it. My guess is just Bolt. Hey, good luck. Hey, thank you. <laughs> let's let's hope this one goes well. Hopefully, this is just Bolt discard, and we draw land, so we can put him down to three. Okay, so discard. I'm going to discard Goblin Guide. This is... Okay, so it's Bolt. Hopefully no... Oh, I hate that. We're going to go Skelemental now. Oh, yeah, that's pretty rough. So I have to discard too. Okay. Path, oh, that sucks. Just have to pass the turn. So I think our opponent got us. I didn't really play that well around Skelemental. So opponent's also pretty rough on pretty rough on spells. He has no cards in he has one card in hand. Likely not a good one. Yeah, the thoughts is he has the dark confident. He's not gonna risk it. Okay, so I think we crack this one. That's that's a good one to draw. That's not as good. I think we slow roll it. Fluliana upticks, we're happy. Okay, so she's uptaking, so let's put my opponent in lightning bolt range. I wish I could cast it. So opponent still doesn't have anything worth Seal of Fire. Are we gonna get got by Liliana's ultimate now? They do kill one of our lands. Okay. Um, I think we crack this now. Choose a pile to sacrifice. Do we want the basic or do we want to be dead to... Skelemental... We're dead to Skelemental plus Bolt. We're dead to Skelemental plus anything. 
So we, we only need to cast one spell really, so I think we choose the white one. So we're gonna sacrifice the mountain. Lightning bolt, lava spike, seal of fire. Not what, not what we want, but we have to keep both lands. We can just crack it to dig, I think. One keeps discarding stuff. No real good plays from them. We have to crack it, right? Oh, that's a good one. Oh. We just have it. It's pretty good. Unless my opponent clings here. Okay, so we just had it. Alright, that, that went pretty fine. It was a rough game. I don't think I played all that well in the beginning of the game. But, again, mid-range really needs a way to pressure us. That's the same problem that John has. Is that if they don't draw into Tarmogoyf, or now Clothis, because now they play Clothis in the main, we can just wait it out and top deck burn spells all day. We're up against... is this the real canister? Might be, I don't know, I, I don't think I've ever seen him stream. Either way, we're on the draw, we're on the play, which is quite good. I don't love this hand. Has no permanent threats. But like, two lands and five spells is pretty good. Let's keep it. I have no idea what my opponent is playing. So let's conserve our life total here. Fetch for a basic and let's play Seal of Fire in case we draw the Incinerator. So my opponent's on blue, probably team of reclamation, generator, no, a good draw nonetheless. I think we just go ham here. Suspend this. Okay, so we have Seal of Fire in case we draw Incinerator anytime soon. But we're up against blue, so it might not be our best draw. Our best draw is definitely my opponent's... But oh, I'm assuming I'm up against a control-ish deck. Okay, so it is Teamer. We don't love this matchup. Just because they play Uro and post board they play Weather the Storm. No shock here is great for us. So they're probably playing Uro next turn. They're at 16 right now. Let's assume they're playing Uro next turn. Incinerator's pretty great. Not gonna lie. Let's lava spike. An incinerator here. Okay, so now opponent has to answer incinerator. Or just loses, I think. And if he plays Uro, we have tons of damage coming in. Renin 6? Oh, that's so rough. Renin 6 awful against Burn. So, this is not really anything, right? I 
Eidolon. Eidolon's a pretty interesting draw, to be honest. You're playing my friend from back home at the moment. Uh, this person, Canister. What do I want to do here? Because if my opponent has Force of Negation, we're kind of screwed. Whereas... I mean, if my opponent has... Yeah, the guy from MPL, etc. Oh, so you know him. That's cool. Uh, we're having a good game one. I'm just wondering, because my opponent has double force. And then has a like a cryptic. We're quite screwed. So I think that jamming Eidolon is our best play here. Because even if our opponent tries to bolt it with the Scalding Tarn, we win off of Seal of Fire. So he does Tarn. Okay, so... He just loses. Alright. Okay, so again, Incinerator game 1 is insane, and now game 2 he's just bad because the opponent plays either Gust. And our sidebar here is pretty... It's pretty straightforward. We cut out Incinerator for Skull Crack. Now we need to cut something else. I like cutting Seal of Fire just because it's the inferior burn spell. And hopefully my opponent doesn't draw too many Weather the Storm. So how did you how do how do you know him? Do, did you play at like his LGS or something? Or just know him from something else? Let's try to get a good game 2 here. It's really important to win game 1 against this matchup. Just because they have a lot of hate pieces that we're likely to lose game the game that we're on the draw. High school friends, the is from the group of people that convinced me to play Magic. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Do you still... Do you still hang... Uh, not hang out. If you say back from home and you don't live there anymore. Do you still talk or anything? Let's hope for a good hand. I think idle ones. So, yeah, random parties I said when I'm back home, New Year's Eve and stuff was actually at his house. Oh, that's pretty cool. Want, want me to chat him up? Um, I could chat him up, saying you're here, rooting against him. Uh, we have to mold this hand, sadly. Oh, I hate this hand. I hate this hand. We have to mold again. I can't keep such a low action hand. Uh, it's fine, just give him from his stream so he knows. I bother him regularly. Oh, okay, that's cool. So, hopefully you're rooting for me. <laughs> um, maybe not this game, because we're mulling to five. To a five lander. Okay, that sucks. Um, let's keep... Do I want to keep... I'm gonna I'm gonna go risky here and I'm gonna keep two canopies. Just definitely not rooting for field decks. <laughs> I mean they're fine. So he opens up with a tapped mystic. Okay, that's cool. Our goblin guide's gonna clock in for at least two. And he's gonna force I just put I just put you away, Vantage. I just put you away. We definitely need to draw some gas here. Now, I think we're in a safe-ish spot because opponent needs to 
answer this guide somewhere between his upkeep and my attack step or my damage step I guess which is great because we can play a potential good top deck around mana leak skewer's not great I would have loved an idol on there but this kind of doesn't answer our our goblin, right? He can gust it. That's not great. Now opponent can field me. So I'm going to be super cheeky. Do I want to be super cheeky? I think I do. I'm going to leave this open so opponent doesn't field me. If I draw here, opponent just fills me. I didn't. I didn't play that very well. Um, I can wait, honestly. Like, so he does field me here. Okay, so we just draw this goblin guide. Do that smart pseudo tapping me out. But we have the fixing in hand. Unfortunately, unfortunately for my opponent. And we draw the second goblin guy. This is gonna be this is gonna be super rough on opponent. Like he knows about one of them, but he doesn't know about the second one. Now we have great pressure on the board. We keep drawing him cards, but my one is still not on red. So he, does he draw that growth spiral? One card in the bottom? Okay, so he doesn't draw the growth spiral. That's definitely relevant. So opponent's still pretty healthy, but we have a great board. Two goblin guides. It's going to require, well, that, that, that does it. That definitely does it. Can we get a good draw here? That's in, that's, uh, Uru's boarded out. This is game two, and my opponent's on blue, so Incinerator's not the best. Still great game one. It won us game one, but... Anything other than that, and it's not great. Hey, Mr. Fridge78, how's it going? Sadly, I don't think that we can sandbag stuff here. We need to just go all out and hope my opponent doesn't just Uro us. Thank you for the follow, Mr. Fridge78. This curative critic goes out to you. Hopefully, it doesn't get forced. God damn it. Uh, and we just play Seal of Fire now. What did my opponent exile? Fact or fiction? That's actually decent. Like, I don't know, I'm not a blue player, but it has to feel really bad to force a lightning bolt. Uro? Of course it's Uro. My opponent even gets the Mystic now. Wait, he doesn't? He has Mystic in hand. Is this game 2 or 3? Game 2. Uh, MTG bots a bit wonky and not showing the scoreboard for some reason. This is game 2. Skewer's okay. But I really need to draw into Surgical here. Okay, 
we can't beat this Uro, right? We put him to 10, we put him to 7, the opponent goes up to 10, we can't beat the Uro, sadly. Okay, so uh, Blast Zone was what got us there. I think we keep the same seven, the same sixty. I don't like path, honestly. Like my opponent's, my opponent has shown me red, so they could be on scape shift and path ramps them. Like path only really works if I'm leaving up mana or if I'm, or if Uru's already escaped. I don't really love it in this matchup. I much rather have surgical. And be proactive with my other spells. Would you like to play first? Why? Yes. Ah, oh, this hand's great. Snap keep. We open up a goblin guide. We force action on goblin guide if they have bolt. We play an idol on. We force action on the idol on. And we play a second idol on. Then my opponent just. has to have a ton of good cards. So I'm going to keep 6. It's pretty straightforward. We open the Goblin Guide. Especially if we're not looking to play spells anytime soon. Revealing Factor Fiction is great, because this is a turn 4 play. Maybe turn 3 if they ramp a little bit with Growth Spiral. Scalding Tarn, okay, so we're gonna do what I call the idle on trick. Which is you don't play land and you attack with the goblin guide. Which makes your opponent more likely to bolt it. He doesn't bolt it, so now we can't really play around the bolt on Eidolon, but we have a second Eidolon, so this is pretty safe. Opponent fetches now, he probably has a cantrip, or just plays a tap plan. He's gonna opt. That's pretty fine. Uh, are we afraid of any two mana spell? Either Gus, right? If opponent gusts Eidolon, I think we just bottom it. And play the second one. Because we do kind of want to see a land. This might just be Gust. So let's attack first. We, drew, we do draw the land. Uh, what are we punished against? Either Gust or Lightning Bolt, right? Let's play the, uh, the, the Swift Sphere. Okay, so I'm gonna just concede. He probably didn't have an answer for everything, and we just had too much pressure. Alright, so a great start to this league. We're 2 0 now. Our game one was against Rakdos midrange, and in a very similar manner, Incinerator just destroyed game one. So this league's going pretty well, um, especially to, to, to show that Incinerator is actually a great card. It's like game one, you go turn to Incinerator and your opponent look, looks at his hand and he's like, oh, so I can't really take care of a 6-6 six -six right now, meaning that I'm already at like 15 and now I have a 6-6 six -six swing in my way which has Trample, and it has uh, Searing Blaze effect stapled onto it. Okay, so let's go to game two. <laughs> but like Eidolon, it's great game one, and it has some pretty piss-poor game twos. It's one of those cards. Oh, on the play again. And a great hand. Oh, we snap keep this. Hmm. 
Now here's the big question. We have no idea what we're playing against. So there's an argument that we don't want to fetch shock here. No, whatever, let's just do it. I gotta say, not running Searing Blaze makes fetching decisions much more easier. Like, you just... Hopefully this is Storm and not Prison. Like, Red Prison with Maze Mine Tome is pretty good. Uh, it looks like Storm. <laughs> Okay, so we're pretty fine right here. Like, we have the Storm Nuts, which is turn to on the play, turn to Eidolon into having removal up. Hopefully, opponent doesn't play Baral. Playing Baral here signifies that he has another dork that he can go off on. He does play Brawl. We draw a second Lightning Bolt. Oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. Like, this game couldn't be any more perfect. So, I'm not gonna suspend both. Because... Here's the thing about Storm. You can Storm over Eidolon if you go Dork, Ritual, uh, Ritual, like, you can do it, okay? You can, I've lost this exact, in this exact scenario uh, on the draw because I turned to my Eidolon and my opponent just stormed in the middle of his storm. He killed my Eidolon and he kept storming off and he just won. Like, this game was pretty much unwinnable for opponent. Like, I opened up with Guide, Eidolon, and I had two Lightning Bolts. So, now let's go to sideboard. As weird as it may seem, I don't like Incinerator here. Because, especially on the draw, because I want to play a reactive game. Right? I want to hold up Interaction. And this form... Like Path to Exile is great removal. Surgical can snatch away a relevant target. Like, uh, I don't know. Imagine if opponent... I don't know. Surgical just seems great here. Or rather, it seems playable here over Incinerator. Because Incinerator requires me to tap out on turn 2. Or whichever turn I'm playing it. That's not great against Storm. Against Storm, you want open mana for your interactive spells. Like Storm is favorable for sure, but not unlosable. This ends pretty great. This hand is pretty great. And this hand is going to have something weird. Which is... I'm not going to play turn 2 Eidolon. For the exact same reason I just mentioned. Turn 2 Eidolon doesn't win you the game on the draw. Because opponent can storm off, kill it with Gutshot or a Lightning Bolt, which he has surely sided in. And then he just wins. So I'll open with the guide, that's for sure. We revealed Baral. Let's hope opponent's not hasty and tries to play Baral here. He does play Baral. No. 
Okay, so now now we've got trouble. Now I've got some problems. Because we need to kill Baral. We just need to kill it. Let's see if we can scout some info. Okay, Ritual's fine. I'm gonna play Seal of Fire. Because that um, makes his Goblin Electromancer not an enabler. Hopefully we draw land so we can start... so we can jam Eidolon. Okay, so opponent has two pain lands, which is great for us. We do find land. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna attack to force his removal, his potential removal. Let's just attack here. Another pain land, that's great for us. So opponent doesn't remove our threat, which might mean he has um, remand. So do I want him to remand the Seal of Fire or the idle one? I think I want him to remand the idle one. Idle one resolves. I don't care about my life total here. So we just play a second Seal of Fire. And now we have instant speed, uncounterable removal for the... Um, well, not uncounterable. He can still have a repeal. If he repeals my... Seal of Fire before he plays his Enabler. Not in a great spot. So he goes for a Ritual. Takes two. He Grape Shots the Eidolon. Takes another two. Okay, that's fine. We'll sti we're still very much in a place where you can kill him. Okay, so no action from opponent. Boros Charmir is great because we just have lethal. We're gonna bait out any interaction my opponent has. So he just takes it. So we're definitely gonna Boros Charm here. Just skewer. Okay, so that that one went great. It's Storm. I don't know what hand my opponent kept. Like single. We even revealed Boral with, like maybe he had Goblin and the Seal of Fire just completely bricked him. Okay, so we're three and zero. Oh. Pretty good spot. We're all we're already even, which is always our primary goal. Just going even all the time, so we can keep playing relaxed. But today, I want a good result because I want to draft double masters when it comes out. Just a single draft. I don't think I can stream it because it does come out late, uh, at least in my time zone, late enough that I can't be streaming it due to house situation uh, reasons. But I'm gonna draft it. <laughs> Hopefully I can... I'm bad at drafting, so I wanna draft it before people figure it out too much. So I can just pick, pick a pile I like and maybe win two games. Uh, you can draft on the following day. Uh, I'm not gonna stream on Saturday, I think. I mean, I could. I definitely could stream tomorrow. Like a double draft, a double master's draft. I might do that, honestly. I might just do that. 
We're against Mr. Rev, another quote unquote famous MTGO player. Would you say draft or sealed is a better deal? I've got very little understanding of MTGO economy as for now. Uh, they're both pretty bad in terms of. Oh, I hate this hand. Oh, it's five lands. It's snap mulligan. And no lands, okay. Uh, any limited game mode. Oh, we have to mold to four? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I just have to concede, right? There's no way I win this. I'm sorry, uh, Zontek. I'll answer your question in a bit. I'm just thinking, can I ever win this game with three cards? With land, swift spear, lava spike? Like, can I ever win that game? Or do I just concede to hide info? I think I just concede to hide info, right? Mr. Reb is there on Eldrazitron or Amulet, I think? I don't know, I have no clue. Just, let's run the same 60. And hopefully not be forced to mulligan to 3. Wow, that was pretty unlucky. Uh, I was on the play. Yeah, I was on the play. And I wa uh, my lands were five lands into no lands into no lands. Now I was on the play. I could have gotten some information. I could. Yeah, maybe I should have just played it out and not cast anything. Just wait it out. Yeah, that would have been smart. I was just thinking about my side of things, of him not knowing what I was playing. Ah, oh. I gotta keep it, right? Only Eidolon's uncastable, and it has Eidolon. I gotta keep this. Oh yeah, sorry, uh, about uh, the MTGO limited economy. I don't play limited on online, as I've said, I'm pretty bad on uh, playing limited. But the economy is not great, because you have to have pretty good results to go even, or like slightly above even. But I think we can check it out. So your drafts. So we're up against Ponza. That's good, I think. Land. Swifty. I have to kill the, the Arbor Elf, unfortunately. So hopefully my opponent didn't board in like anti-red hate or anti-red cards. About the economy, you have a draft, and in draft you have to win. You have to go 3-0 to go above even. So it's definitely not easy. And as for sealed, you have to like sealed's just a ton of games. You're playing pods of three, and I think seals kind of worth it because of the amount of play points you just win in between rounds. It might be worth to play sealed. Oh, he does have stomp. That sucks. But he did shock himself. Do we do draw a land? Now, do we want to be super aggressive and play idle on?
We don't love idle on here, right? I think we just swift and lava spike face. This lightning bolt has to go to bone crusher. Or like the subse the subsequent skewer. We're in an okay spot. We're in an okay spot. So I think that seal's pretty worth it. Like if you go one one one, that's sixty, and no, that's not really worth it. But okay, so seventy, and because of the four wins, you got one twenty play points. So you just need to go two o two o two one two one two one, get ninety. Yeah, so you need to have. Oh, that's awful. Or is it? It is. It is most definitely not. I'm not sure if Panzer plays Scoos in the main. Doesn't sound great. What? What? Let's burn some pawns. Do it for me, dog. I'm trying. I'm trying. I lost game one. Because I had to mull to three to even see a playable hand. And it wasn't even a playable hand. Three wins, one double master booster. Sorry. Plus 20, 25 points. I think rewards are different in the double masters. Yeah, double, double masters probably going to be different. Can we draw a bolt here? Oh, idle on. You suck, game. Uh, sorry, three wins, one double master's booster, plus two twenty-five play points. Yeah, that's like... Is that even... I think that double master's 250 play points to enter. Like, limited just has bad rates. And it's on purpose, right? It's to force you to... quote-unquote buy into playing limited. I'm so hyped for double masters. I'm hyped for it too. It sounds pretty great, but I don't have that many play points to just draft it uncontrollably. I know you do, Manish. You have like 6,000 play points. <laughs> so that's gonna be tons of value for you. Okay, so we do get the win here. A sealed? Does does double masters even have sealed? I don't know. Uh, stuff isn't here yet about double masters. Let me check online. Okay, so now game two. Gonna play this super PTQ. Oh, that sounds awesome. I don't have enough play points for that. I think. I mean, I have a couple. I, I really don't. I have 390. Plus, this league's already going 3 wins, so I have 490. It's not that much. When is it? On Sunday? Let me just sideboard. Real quick. Real quick. I'm gonna be honest. I think I want to cut Goblin Guides for Path to Exile. Because Goblin Guides sucks. So I've played some limited prelims and opened some land. Very skillful. I suck at limited. Like, I'm just so bad at it. It's not even funny. We have to keep this. It's playable. Like, I suck at picking cards, I suck at deck building, and I suck at uh, evaluating what my opponent might be on. I'm just bad at it. But I'm gonna draft Double Masters, and... Uh, I'm gonna call him by his chat name, because... It's less confusing for everyone else, but Gunga Scow uh, suggested that I could stream it tomorrow, and I th 
usually I can stream on Saturday, but tomorrow I actually can. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to stream a quick draft. And I'll even look into... Oh, thank you, uh, Rzontek, for the double master thing. I can check it out. Uh, what was I saying? I'm going to stream it tomorrow. Two times master seems like a synergy driven format. That's very nice. A lot of artifact decks. Yeah, I think that you, if you just draft uh, Tron, you just win, right? Isn't that how it works? Burr, burr, burr. I'm going to sandbag the foothills because I need to be able to beat pillage. And I have to bolt this Arbor Elf, sadly. Not exactly, but what do you mean? You just draft, like, tons of Tron lands, you, dra you draft Karn, you draft Worm Coil, you even have map to help you, and you just win. That sounds like a great plan. So my opponent's stuck on one land, it seems. Oh, blessed be the peacemaker. Uh, and I'm gonna shock myself here. As I said, I really need to play around pillage. Yeah, draft tons of Tronlands, uh, turn 3, play plating. What's plating? I'm so bad at magic. Wait, isn't that how you draft? You just draft to get a specific mythic and when you don't just leave the table after draft er, I think I need to kill this Arbor Elf like my opponent's stuck on lands I can't let him untap with Arbor Elf unless I lethal here which I don't think I can path? Ugh. Let's just kill that motherfucker, and let's crack this, in case I draw... Okay, so I draw another one. Let's crack the... Uh, let's, let's crack it. Okay. Cranial plating. Oh! Is that playable in draft? <laughs> I have no clue. I have absolutely no clue what's playable in draft because I think that this draft being a master's draft with tons of all-stars from magic's history is gonna be like a clash of tons of draft environments and I know none of them I know none of them hopefully opponent doesn't have a removal here like stomp would suck it's solid. There's a lot of artifacts. Yeah, I think that our drafting colorless is going to be awesome. But also, let's let's remember this one. A braid is a common. You can also just draft a braid and kill artifact fools. Oh, I really hate pathing here. gonna play the giant I place clothis oh I hate this oh I hate this so much not like this how great would it be if my opponent went Bloodbraid Elf into Season Pyromancer. Then I can just path the Clothis. Opponent doesn't even play anything. <sighs> what is he on? Or he just doesn't want to... He might be putting me on path and doesn't want me to... That's okay. I think we just jam these. And hope to draw like skull crack boris charm. Skull crack boris charm is our go-to. We shouldn't even have played those. 
If we draw incinerator, we're gonna look like fools. I think we're just gonna lose to Clothis. Like we started out fine. But then just kept drawing lands. We've drawn tons of lands now. I think that's how we lose with burn. Just draw out too many lands. Now I need double skull crack to win. My opponent's just sandbagging stuff because he knows that I'm holding on to path. Skewer. I'm gonna hold on to it. No reason to to play anything here. On Stomp's face. Okay, so I'm just dead, right? Oh, this sucks. It sucks losing like this. Like, just tons of turns of not drawing anything. And I lost to... Okay, so this doesn't even do anything for me. And another land. Okay, so we just lose two lands. That happens. So, super unfortunate match. Like, we lost game one to no lands, and we lost game three to too many lands. That happens, I guess. It's sad that it does, but it does happen. Five, five plus in your 40. Uh, sorry, Gongasku. Uh, what card are you talking about? 5 plus in your 40? For it to be worth it. And this is just gas. This is just gas. Uh, a plating in the number of artifacts. Yeah, plating's bound to be good. Plating is bound to be good. I'd said that um, Double Masters only comes on later. I would love to draft it after this league, because this league is going to be quite short. We're already at game 5, match 5, and we're burned, so... Unless we're playing <laughs> the ironic mirror, which we might. Oh my god, we are. Oh, this sucks so much. Draw Chandra's Incinerator. I'm just gonna turn to Incinerator here. It can still lose to a ton of things. And against the mirror, they do have uh, solutions for it, like double bolting or less card disadvantage disadvantages. Searing Blaze plus Bolt. And also, like, not removing his creatures is quite rough on my life total. I think it's our best bet here. We just... No, there's no artifact lens in the set. Let me look at the entire set. Let's, let's, I think that with uh, the league not running that long, we can look at Double Masters for a little bit. Uh, let's just not get too distracted here. We do want to win this game. So we're playing Incinerator here. I could wait, I could play Eidolon this turn and wait to double Incinerator. But I think that if I do that, 
My opponent can lethal me above Incinerator. Hopefully no Double Bolt. My opponent plays Eidolon. And he doesn't attack. Okay, so... Are we about to body some fools? What's our best bet here? We bolt opponent, we go down to 9. And then we play our own Eidolon. I like that. I'm gonna kill the Eidolon. I could... Yeah, there, there is no Dark Steel Citadel. Oh yeah, Dark Steel Citadel's in the set, that's right. I hear Artifact Lens and I think uh, Colored Artifact Lens. Yeah, but Dark Steel Citadel's in the set. So just, I think that Artifacts are just amazing in this set. I'll attack. If we had Bolt, we'd just win. Now opponent's like super up against the wall. The only and bad one, yeah. But I think that the other artifact lands are... Hey, House of Mana, how's it going? I think that the artifact lands are just... I wouldn't say that they're too good, but I do think that they wouldn't be doing anything fair. Like, you're not playing Artifact Lands because of some small time synergy, right? Yeah, but Affinity is just abusing Artifact Lands. <laughs> it's just that... Um, the deck is so weak right now that Perfect Lens would make me the actual playable. Would it though? Would it really? I mean, I play Burn, so my vision of cards is always a little bit skewed. Like decks that lose to removal, I look at them and I think that deck's not that great. But Lurus completely broke modern, and it was a shockable threat, because most decks don't play that much removal. Like, we're just packed with removal, coincidentally, because we're playing uh, Burn, but I still think that, yeah, maybe Affinity would just be busted. Let me just decide here. I think I want the, um, the white side of things. And they're unlikely to be running Dragon's Claw. So I think I just cut Eidolon. Like a single Boris Charm. Two mana spell that doesn't remove. Goes out, I think. Hello, I'm a beautiful Mongol War person endowed with bountiful bosoms and many. And many parts for procreation. I'm looking for a burn planet of Fortigal descendant who is willing to have many sex with me and need 10 million rubbles in my bank. <laughs> That's a tasty pasta. That's some tasty pasta. Um, my chat's getting invaded with amulet players. Feels good. Amulet's a fun deck. We gotta keep this. Hopefully it doesn't go wrong. Just tried Will Pulliam's list. Uh, amulet? If you, have am if you have tasty amulet lists, do drop them. 
So this is Lightning Bolt, right? Do I want to play into Lightning Bolt? I think I want to play into Lightning Bolt here. Because I could set up the turn to Incinerator, but I need to get lucky, and I'd much rather just play into Lightning Bolt. I'm going to Swift Spear, because... Yeah, so it's just going to bolt me, so this Swift Spear is just gaining me 3 life. My opponent even shock... Wait, he doesn't shock? <gasps> Does my opponent have... My... Wait, I didn't attack. Why didn't I attack? God damn it. Imagine listening to SCG boomers and not me for at least check my head. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'd listen to Muniz on this one. He does have them tasty amulet lists. He does have them tasty amulet lists. I really love El Elvish Reclaimer on amulet. I just can't block here, can I? Reclaimer is great. Recla uh, Reclaimer brings back that. Um, so we draw land. So I'm just gonna set up for Incinerator here. I'm actually gonna play the Golden Guide. Um, Reclaimer brings back that. What I want to say that toolbox feel that Amulet had like one year ago. My opponent shocks himself, he doesn't shock himself. So opponent's definitely on the thing. What's it called? Core Firewalker. I think I need to suspend Rift Ball here. He's gonna gain some life, but I don't care because I'm gonna get Incinerator down. Had someone tag me in the Facebook group with the last Mystery of Tanflons. It was hilarious. Also, I just beat Edgar Magalhães. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> it's a special feeling, right? When you queue up against some known player and you just beat him. So, opponent's not on Core Firewalker. I'm checking out of this game. I'm on Incinerator, and I think that... Oh, opponent's also on Incinerator. Tasty. So that's why they were sandbagging things. I need a land now. I really need a land now. Can we get a land? Lightning Bolt? No! That's fine, right? Hello, my name is El Rey. I'm <laughs> I sold all my sombreros so I can play Incinerator Proof. I learned the Copperino Pastorino is only my life. Why? <laughs> Why are you trying to spam my chat? We're having a lovely time playing the control mirror. Uh, the the burn mirror. I mean. in a great position here. Path and seal. Yeah, that... I, I wanted land, but drawing lightning bolts also fine. And we just have lethal. If opponent doesn't play... I love the CS copy passes. Yeah. Boss, aren't you calling him if you're chatting being Philly? <laughs> yeah, that is true. That is true. Like, chat needs to be just going completely bonkers. That's the sign of a... Burn mirror plays sort of the same as the control mirror. Yeah, you weren't here yesterday, Niche, but we played three prowess matchups, and two of them were like 40 minutes long of both of us just having um, core and dragon's claw and just patting each other. It was insane. That's where Incinerator comes in handy. Like... There was one game where my opponent had two Dragon's Claw, and I just played Incinerator, and then they their board were just stumped, because my burn spell still cleared their board, and Incinerator just attacks every turn for six. Am I just dead? Oh no. Oh no. 
Oh, it plays another incinerator, so we just win. Okay, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Let's just win this one real fast. <laughs> we draw another path. Do we want to be mean? No, I think we just win here, right? Wait, can we win? Puns on one mana. Okay, we can win. GG opponent, GG. And this is why incinerators... <laughs> My opponent played two and I still won. But that's why incinerator is great. Like, I was setting up for incinerator and I could have played incinerator anytime for one mana at that. And I kept ch uh, chipping at my opponent. So incinerator doesn't make me lose damage at all. Uh, okay, so the league went pretty great. It's sad that we lost the 5-0 to our deck, drawing too many lands, but that's bound to happen. Going for one's pretty great. Don't let's not undermine that. Let's open one chesty. Uro? Force? The fuck is this? It's a commander card. This is like super valuable because no one has it. What's this? Okay, it's an R. Oh, it's three ticks. That's so many. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. There's some pasta here. My dad beats me, feels bad, man. My mom beats me, feels bad, man. My brother beats me, feels bad, man. My sister beats me, feels bad, man. At least I feel safe with House of Mana because he can't beat anyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty, that's pretty, that's a good one. And gladly not directed at me. Yesterday at LGS I left a lot, there was this no player who lost to my burn and to one friend's burn, which I recommend him playing sooner than Surjack, and of course he was teaching us how to play our deck. It's always great when, when non-burn players think that the deck's easy to master. It's easy to play, not easy to master, in my opinion. I'm going to play control, play my deck, just slam all your fire as your vehicle, man, I really know what to play burn. Yeah. It's three tickets. Let's roll the wheel. Let's trade it for a tick for a chest. Let's immediately trade it for a chest. Where is it? It's Ikoria. Ikoria Commander Shenanigans. It's here. Let's trade it for a chest and spin the wheel. Let's go to goat bots. I use goat bots. Them being based in Europe means if I ever get to cash out tickets they're the best for me, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to properly cash out tickets. I should figure that out at some point. So this is three tickets. No, this is one chest. Let's spin the wheel. See if we get lucky. Yeah, this chest is for opening. Open one of these. Okay, so another commander thing and a full art rare. You sell them to someone. Yeah, but selling to someone's... Like, here's the thing. I have 300 tickets. If I want to sell them to someone, I need to sell them to multiple someones. And it's bothersome because uh, people can just be jerks and not pay me, or I need to be the jerk and tell them that they need to pay me first. And that just sounds like a lot of trouble. I'm, I'm willing to sell tickets to people if they want, and I'm not gonna actively look to sell them to random to randos. Sell them to mana traders. Isn't mana traders not buying tickets right now? I think I heard that somewhere. But mana traders might be a good place. Let me check that. And also let me check what did we open. I don't think I want commander cards. It's probably bad. 
Mm. Probably want to trade this card. Like, this is pretty unplayable. Yeah, no one to feel I can vote for right now. Uh, I can vote for people at the moment. No, they have hands. <laughs> also, don't try Amulet and Legacy. I mean, <laughs> I am yet to play Amulet in Modern. Which I would. The deck does sound like fun. I've, I've even tested it out previously. I think I've played with yours. Yeah, I've played with your deck, Manish. It's a pretty fun deck. Let me see, what did I open? Who did Blight Fang? Feels bad. Isn't worth anything. And this also isn't worth anything. Okay, so let's stop opening chests for now. Two head burn plate tries, five head modern deck. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I'd be down to play an amulet league sometime. If Nish can can lend me his deck on online, I'd play an amulet league. Like we can arrange it sometime, I think. I think he I think he doesn't mind. Not right now, yeah, not right now. I, I'm not gonna stream any more games today. Like one of these days uh, if if you're up for it like a random day that you're not feeling like playing or we can trade decks and you can play a burn league uh, I used to it used to be five head then dried got printed yeah I honestly I'll tutor you through a stream easy we can do that too <laughs> and because it has uh, I mean you can come uh, we can make a, a a live call for it to be easier for sure yeah that could be a thing we can we can arrange that uh, I, I agree with that Dryad's uh, point of view. Like, Dryad's made the deck much less interesting. It made the deck better, but much less interesting. That's why I love Reclaimer. Reclaimer brings back that, oh, I'm gonna make this very complicated line that just wins me the game on the spot. Like, I fetch some hate piece, and then my opponent loses because he wasn't expecting that, or, like, I play... Like Ni showed me the other day, he had le he had almost lethal, and he had a second flagstone in hand, which he would play to get to lethal, even though he was up against Blood Moon. Flagstone maintains his its legendary status, so I think that Reclaimer is great. All it brings to the deck is great, and I'm happy that it's at least playable, if not actually good. Uh, me and Poseidon play a lot on paper, we know each other's decks just by talking and seeing each other play. Yeah, we've, we've played a ton <laughs> against each other. Uh, if he says something in Burn, it's a Bible to me. Oh, that means a lot to me. Uh, I hope you know that it's the same for me, but um, about Amulet. Like, if, even some crazy ideas you have, I always, <laughs> I always believe you just because of how well you know your deck. Uh, this has been great. Um, thank you for stopping by. The league ran a little bit short, but that's five matches. I don't think I want to stream another one, even though it's early. Um, I don't think I'm going to stream another one. I think I'm just going to stop here, relax, take care of some other business. Uh, I might stream Double Masters tomorrow. Like In my quote-unquote streaming schedule, I don't have... Saturdays as a stream day because I usually can't stream on Saturday because there's a lot of stuff going on in the house but tomorrow is different so I might be able to do stream tomorrow so we'll, we'll definitely stream some double masters back when I played burn boss you were literally the only person I take seriously because let's be real other burn players are idiots let's not be too harsh let's not be too harsh but because burn's sort of easy to pick up I don't think it's easy to master, but it's easy to pick up. Like, you can just give it to a person, and it's you just tell him, okay, just point at your opponent, and uh, a new player will win games. But it's not easy to master. So what that means is that a lot of people that don't really know the ins and outs of Magic and the modern format just play Burn, and they do make some silly mistakes. Uh, like, in Francisco's streams, I see him just Teferi, slam Teferi against two Rift Bolts that are suspended. 
and I always think no decent burn player would suspend two Rift Bolts against Blue White, ever. You hard cast them late into the game. You never suspend Rift Bolts early on. Because the fairy just freely counterspells them. Like, it's not even a temple swing of your opponent playing a 3 mana thing to counter your 1 mana spell. Uh, the fairy is just free to kill Rift Bolts. Uh, that shade is nice. Okay. It's just super low floor but super high ceiling. Yeah, I think so too. Like, it's not the highest ceiling, of course. But, like, those very mini skilled things uh, do make a difference. Like, uh, I always hear the same argument for infecting being easy, people are dumb. Yeah, in fact, it's also like you have to play around tons of stuff, so it's definitely not an easy deck. Uh, so let's 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 stop here. Let's raid someone. Do you guys have any preference on the raid? Like, are you gonna watch any stream after this one? Who's streaming right now? Who is streaming? Let us... <laughs> Let's raid Canister. Let's raid Canister. We just beat him today, so let's raid him. Just because. I hope that isn't... I'm not disrespecting him. He's a great player. I think it's just funny. <laughs> I love that about the Portuguese culture. There are lots of one tricking a lot of masters. Yeah, that's the modern format, right? Just mastering your deck. Anyways, thank you for watching. We're going to raid Canister now. See ya, and until tom uh, tomorrow I'm gonna stream uh, Modern Double Masters, whatever. So see you tomorrow.